The Night House is a story about a widow who begins to uncover her recently deceased husband's disturbing secrets. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not watch the trailer for this movie. The only thing, the only thing that got me hooked to this movie was Rebecca Hall. Going into the positives already with this film, um, spoilers, this movie is amazing. Rebecca Hall is yet again showing off her talents in a movie where she is absolutely brilliant in every single scene that she's in. She's completely mesmerizing in this sad, sad depiction of a widow who loses somebody that she truly, truly loves. And even though you don't really get a lot of scenes of their past, you get like little old vintage video clips of when she was filming her husband or he was filming her and get those little cute moments to make you feel like they're really in love. And you do feel that, but even with those scenes and with the scenes that are really needed to bring that character development, she brings it every time. And you truly feel this longing, this this desperation of seeking answers. And, and she feels lost. She feels confused. She's depressed. She's sad. It's a, it's a very sad situation. And the way the director, the way the cinematographer gets these shots, the way the performers are doing their job with this film is just absolutely brilliant. And if you have had the chance to look at the trailers, this is obviously a gothic romance horror thriller. And does this movie deliver though on the horror, the chills, the jump scares? Does it get under your skin? And throughout this entire film, I was kind of surprised when the scares began. I was like, okay, here we go. 30 minutes of, you know, character development and building up to the moments where the, you know, the spookiness starts to set into the house, the night house. And, and no, they go right into it within the first five to 10 minutes. I was really surprised with how fast they were going into the horror aspect. I thought they were going to take their time, but they went straight for it. And to give you some backstory for this director, he did a film that I feel like is very underappreciated. It's called VHS. Please check it out. It is a really, really scary movie. When it comes to this character, Rebecca Hall's character, dealing with the loss of her husband, you get a film that is so beautifully portraying of what it's like to lose somebody and what depression can do to that person, what mental health issues will come up into their mind, and what other issues this person will have if they keep on suppressing their emotions, if they keep on blocking people out of their lives and not being honest with them. I think what this movie does, and a lot of people might be disappointed with it, because when you get to the third act, and I'll get to the negatives a little bit, there are a few little nitpicks that I have, but overall, I loved this film. But when you get to the third act, you get this really elevating experience when it does come to the horror but when it also comes to the main message of the film and going into the one nitpick that i have because it does work but also doesn't at the same time and maybe i need a second viewing to to refresh because this is a film personally to me i feel like you need to watch it again to get all of the experiences that this director is trying to get you enamored in and anyways to the negative when you get to the third act there is a reveal and some people might see it coming i didn't but when you get to that reveal it can come across as a little cheesy but for me it was just the way that they portrayed the scene where i was kind of like oh i see what they're trying to do but Okay, I'll see. I'll see. I'll stay here. I'll stay here in this mindset. Let's see what you're going to do. And what they were executing is a beautiful message to paint across, but it did come across a little bit heavy handed. Overall, guys, The Night House is a truly terrifying film with some very good jump scares, effective acting, effective direction when it comes to the cinematography and the direction of this film. And this movie has an emotional foundation that builds upon every single scene until you get to the final shot. And with that being said, I'm going to give The Night House an 8.5 out of 10. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my review. It really means a lot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to be blessed.